Number 19. Assume that an intercontinental ballistic missile goes from rest to suborbital speed of 6.5 kilometers per second in 60 seconds. The actual speed and time are classified. What is its average acceleration in meters per second squared and in multiples of g? Okay, so what are we given in the problem? So it says that a missile goes from rest right, to a speed of 6.5 kilometers per second. So those sound like rates to me, and specifically their velocities, right? So it starts at rest, and it then gets somewhere um, to a speed of 6.50 kilometers per second. That's the final velocity, okay? And then the initial velocity here at the beginning was zero, because it started at rest kilometers per second. Okay, and it takes um, the missile 60.0 seconds to obtain this velocity. Okay, great. Now it says, what is the average acceleration? So what's the formula for acceleration? The formula for acceleration is acceleration is equal to the change in velocity divided by the change in time. So in order for me to find the acceleration, I need to know the change in the velocity and the time in which that change in velocity occurred. And we do, right? We know those things. So we can calculate the average acceleration. So just breaking down the uh, change in velocity, it's the final velocity minus the initial, divided by the change in time, right? Or the final time minus the initial time. Okay, great. So the acceleration now is the final value of the velocity. So that was 6.50 kilometers per second minus the initial value, which was zero kilometers per second, all divided by the final time, which would have been 60.0 seconds, and the initial time would have been zero seconds. Great, everything looks nice and consistent here. Um, so I'm gonna calculate, meaning the time values are all the same. So let's just calculate. I don't need to make any conversions yet. So the acceleration here, I'm gonna get rid of the units. It's gonna be 6.50, uh, right? divided by 60.0, okay? So now when I calculate this, let me do 6.50 divided by 60. So it comes out to a value of 0 0.108. Now remember, this is in kilometers per second squared. Go back and look at the displacement value. It's in kilometers. Therefore, your acceleration is in kilometers. So I'm just gonna dot this this would be an answer, but they didn't want it in kilometers per second. They just wanted it in meters per second. So all I have to do is convert the kilometers to seconds. Excuse me. <laughs> that would be a conversion. Uh, convert kilometers to meters. And then once I do that, I'll have my answer. So uh, let's do that over here on the... Uh, yeah, we'll do it on the right-hand side. So I'm looking to take 0 0.108 kilometers and convert that into meters. So we'll write down what we're given, 1 point, uh, 0.108 kilometers. The kilometers must go on the bottom. The meters go on the top. There's a thousand meters in one kilometer. Kilometers go bye-bye. And now just multiply the 0 0.108 by a thousand. Just move the decimal place three places to the right. So it's 108 meters. Now, since it was kilometers per one second. Now the answer would just be 108 meters per second, right? Because I'm going to essentially divide this by one second squared. All right. So now the answer becomes 108 meters per second squared. And that would now be the average acceleration um, in meters per second squared. So that's the answer to the uh, first part. And then the second part says, let's now calculate it in multiples of g. So quick formula for g here, g is equal to the acceleration value divided by 9.80, okay? So all we have to do to find the g value is simply take your acceleration that we found over here, we just found, plug that in, all right? Now, the only thing here, you gotta remember that the unit here, 9.80, is in terms of meters per second squared, okay? What that means is that the only units you're allowed to plug into this particular G formula for the acceleration, they must also be in meters per second squared. Anything else, your number and your answer is going to be wrong. 
Okay, so just always make sure. So I do see that I did calculate it in meters per second squared. So therefore, I'm just going to plug in the 108 and divide it by 9.80. And I just got to throw it into the calculator. Throw it on in. So 108 divided by 9.8 works out to a value of 11.0. And again, three significant figures because both numbers have three. And <clears throat> that would be the G value. Final answer. Thank you guys for tuning in. Remember, please subscribe if this video helped you at all and tell your friends. Thanks. See you soon.